Just a video showing you what I find odd about the Elgato uh, capture software. Uh, the other day I got myself a HD60 Pro because I wanted to capture at 60 frames a second because the uh, last few years I've been using a uh, Roxio capture device and lastly I was using a Hasselpars Rocket which, uh, which was a great little device. The only problem was they both only captured at 30 frames a second but I used to get around this problem by using uh, Mi GUI to convert back well not back to but convert to 60 frames a second using a uh, frame interpolation which did a really good job but could take a few hours to do for each clip so I had a spare cash so I bought myself the HD 60 Pro the only the problems I have with it is the software and what it does to the video files because if you have a look if you go into library I go into that one it splits the video from one capture into four gig chunks which is something which you had to do donkeys years ago when everyone was using fat 32 hard drives but now for the last 10 years plus everyone uses NTFS drives which don't have a file limit so there's no need to split these files but for some reason the Elgato does which is a bit odd the thing you can do is when you convert to mp4 when you click the option to do it it will join everything up and give you one file plus a commentary file separate which is good in one way but it's just a pain to work with because if you click on a TS file I'll open it up it's me playing Plants vs Zombies and I right click go to audio tracks it's given me three audio tracks the uh, game audio plus anyone who's talking it gives me game audio plus my commentary all in one single track and my uh, commentary as a separate track so the thing I can do if that was one big file I'll close that down I'll open the uh, video redo I'll drag that in, it won't take a few seconds to open so I'll just uh, do a quick little edit if I click there click there uh, trim unselected if I save video I can also save as an mp4 have it in there click save it won't take a few seconds to do that's done uh, right so if I go into that file which is that one and open it if I right click all three audio tracks are still there which is handy but if I go into the uh, file the Elgato software has converted to mp4 open that one If I go into the file uh, the Elgato software has created and right click, they're just one single track. So that's the game audio plus my commentary all in one single file. So, but as most people who do uh, gaming videos, sometimes you need to give your commentary a little boost or you might, you know, just a little tweak. So the thing I'm having to do is merge them two and then do the edit which is a bit of a pain in the bum when I could just work with the TS file because the thing I could do I've got say I had one long one long file for the whole capture of like a couple of hours I just want that little section which I've done I originally saved that and the thing I can also do is go down to audio save that as well go into videos should be done yep. minimize that I've got the three separate audio tracks which match up to that section I just wanted it just makes life simpler and like easier for well for anyone to use to edit 
before they want to upload to say YouTube and I just don't understand why the Elgato cannot just give you one single TS file because it makes your life so much easier but it's one of the things I won't understand because I've uh, had a, uh, done a few tweets to Elgato and they just say that's the way it is which is a shame but it's something that needs to be updated and uh, looked into and fingers crossed hopefully in the future they do it so uh, that's the end of the video and uh, goodbye